Yo guys, welcome back to a brand new PDC Geo video. Today, guys, we have a funny deck for you guys. This is going to be Magikarp ADP, or, Mag or Magikarp Troll Deck, whatever you want to call it. Uh, this is actually a hilarious deck. I saw this on uh, PDCG Radio's channel a while back, and uh, I just felt like playing it today uh, just for fun because it seems like a funny deck. And what other content can we make for the next few days until Thursday comes around? But play the Lord of All Carps, Magikarp with Splashing Dodge. The whole idea of this deck is we are going to use ADP's Alter Creation Attack, which allows us to take extra prize and do 30 more damage. And this is going to be our main attacker. Yes, Magikarp is our main attacker here. We are going to be using Splashing Dodge that does 10 damage. Now you're probably like, wait, what the heck? What does this do? Like, how's this gonna work? Well, we're gonna try to put a Rainbow Energy on our Magikarp, which will put it down to 20 HP, and then we put a Hustle Belt on our Magikarp, which then makes it do 60 more damage. So this thing is doing 70 damage with the uh, Rainbow Hustle, but if we did Ultra Creation, we're doing 100 damage for one energy, and with Victini, we're going to be trying to guarantee Heads with Splashing Dodge, and then we become immune to attacks. The opponent cannot damage you, which is absolutely hilarious. That is the whole idea of this concept. It's just troll with Magikarp. So before we get the video, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Cargam and TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever in any need of any PDCGO pack codes, if you're still trying to get yourself Sword and Shield pre-order codes before Thursday comes around, guys, pre-order your Sword and Shield codes over at Card Cavern TCG. Uh, you can get them in lots of 50, or you can also pre-order the code singly. You can also get the Sword and Shield theme deck codes. They're also available for pre-order at Card Cavern, and also all the Elite Trainer Box codes and all that good stuff. For Sword and Shield are all over at Card Cavern TCG. Uh, you can also get some other uh, nifty codes like any other pack codes you're looking for, or maybe a Lolan Sand Slash or Meowth VMAX codes. And if you get anything from Card Cavern, guys, make sure you use my discount code code LDF at the checkout for a 5% discount on your purchase to support the channel, help yourself out, and support Card Cavern. So shout out to our sponsor, Card Cavern. Use code LDF. Now let's look at the list here. So again, I saw this on uh, PDC Radio's channel. Uh, now this is a very different list, I think. Well, not very different, but it's a little different than what he had um, in the video there uh, that he showed off the deck. I think it was from Japan. Um, so again, it's a very wa wonky concept, but it's a hilarious deck, and just because it, it just, it's so it's so weird. Uh, now one other cool thing is there's actually a lot of people that tend to play Fire and Expanded, so like you can just whip out the Carp and just go all in. Um, now I will say this, this deck does obviously auto lose to Faba, auto loses to Honchkrow, just stuff like that. This deck really does take those beatings, but there's going to be decks that have no answer to the special energy. So you can win games if they have no answer to special energy. So if you're playing against Faba or Honchkrow, rip the dream, uh, but if you're not. Now I am playing Jirachi in the deck for Stellar Wish to help us set up. Ideally, we're looking for that turn one tag call to guarantee us ADP Guzmahala and then Guzmahala into an Ultra Creation with Double Dragon Energy. Uh, Pokemon Ranger is a thing too, but you just gotta hope you don't get Rangered pretty much. And again, Victini is important in here to allow you to reflip the coin with Flashing Dodge. You could play Will, but that's not really that good. I am playing Mime to protect our bench, and the only other Pokemon I'm playing is actually gonna be this alternate Crosma here. Pretty much just as a game finisher. Um, this is actually pretty good because it can just finish the game sometimes on the opponent. Whenever you get the opportunity to, you can finish the game off with Luster of Downfall. And sometimes you need to do that because Carp's only doing 100 with Splashing Dodge. So just having that game finisher with Ultimate Cross, I really like. Uh, that's it for the Pokemon. I would like to maybe play like Execute in here because it's, Execute's really good in combination with Goose Mahala. But we don't play Battle Compressor and I can't find room for Execute. Uh, the only Pokemon I would play, honestly, is a second ADP so you don't prize it and then you don't have to, then you get to use Ultra Creation. Because uh, then if not, you're just going to rely on Splashing Dodge doing 70 damage. So there you go. I'll right, go to the items now. I got a lot in here. As you can see, we got an Energy Lotto to find Energy, one Field Blower. Uh, one great catcher, two Lana's Rod along with a stretcher. The Lana's Rod will get us back a carp and also a hustle belt, which is kind of the whole idea behind it. I am playing a level ball and four nest balls. As you can see, I'm not playing any ultra balls. We have all the good search options. We got tag call to find us uh, ADP, nest ball to get us Victini, carp, Jirachi, level ball also get us carp, Victini, Jirachi. So we don't need any other uh, real thing. I got a scoop of Cyclone just because once you use Alter Creation, you want to get ADP off the board so it doesn't give up three prizes. And just pray you don't get dead ended or something by that point or it gets knocked out. So you then scoop it up, put it back in your hand, and get off the board completely. I am playing Spinal Charge, obviously. I would maybe consider two of these. I got three Tag Calls, four Trainer's Mail to help us guarantee our items, four Via Seekers, two Shrine for the Stadium just because we need a Counter Stadium. And Shrine's also really good in here to be able to take extra damage on the board. I uh, got one easy. Again, you can use this with your ADP. It's actually pretty cool with Jirachi, too. Uh, one Cynthia, one Guzma, two Guzmahala. Again, really important card in here because it guarantees you rainbow energy and hustle belt for carp. Uh, we got one end, two Juniper, one teammates just to, you know, get any two cards. Two escape boards, one float stone. 
also for the ADP, so you can also move it. Just so we have a few options to move ADP. Or if you just start with Mime or Victini or Necrozma. Uh, we got three Hustle Belts and two Double Dragon and four Rainbow Energy here. You could try out Basic Water, but the problem with that is you won't ever have a damage counter Magic Carp. But you can also go Basic Water, Magma Secret Base. You can go that route if you want to. That is another option for you if you want to, you know, try that out. This way you have an answer to Haunch Crow. That's not very good though, but you can try the Water Energy Magma's Base route if you want. Uh, but yeah, let's go show off the deck on PCGO. Actually, no, before we do, actually, I do want to say the first game is a little bit quieter in terms of the mic volume, because the past few videos I have had people uh, kind of complain that the mic volume was a little low. I've had it low because I, when I first got my Blue Yeti um, mic here, I had this like weird static noise that kept coming up. So I tweaked around the settings in OBS in my mic, and I was able to get rid of the static sound. Um, so hopefully it doesn't come back. I'm praying it doesn't, because if it does, I don't want to go through that again, because I took like an hour or so to figure out how to get rid of. So that's why I had the volume a little bit lower, because I found lowering the volume got rid of it, but I don't know if it did fix it or not. So I raised the volume back up for game two and three, and for this part of the video, and for the rest of the videos going forward, as long as the static noise, it doesn't pop back up. So the first game might be a bit quieter than the second uh, and the last game. So here you go. Okay, guys, here we go. Getting into some games with the Carp Troll deck. I'm kind of excited to play this just because it'll be absolutely hilarious, I think. Uh, and bro, first game is against a fire deck. Yo, you can't make this up. You can't make this up. It's literally the first game I've, like, getting into with this deck. Like, not even, like, you know, how usually, like, I'll pick the games that I think were best. It's literally the first game I get, and it looks like we're up against Volcanion here. Oh, my gosh. I'm actually excited for this. Alrighty, then. We do get the Jirachi start. Our hand is actually not bad. Assuming Jirachi can get us into a supporter or a tag call or something. But otherwise, it's a pretty good hand. We'll even bench the Magikarp just to kind of mess with them a little bit. They could be playing ho -Oh GX though. I guess, okay, Reshizard's Double Blaze actually does go through Magikarp. Ugh, big Kiawe. They actually threaten a Double Blaze knockout on ADP, which I don't like. All right, they do get a Sovali here. Which is good. Uh, or bad, actually. I don't know. I just, I just don't want them to do Kiawe. That's like the only thing I'm scared of here is that they have a Kiawe in their hand. Okay, good, they don't. They didn't even get an energy in play. There's a rainbow. All right, we're gonna Nest Ball for just, we're just gonna flat out get the ADP. Just get that thing into play now. We'll level ball here for a Victini. I wouldn't mind getting another Jirachi actually too, but I'll get the Victini. And we're gonna start our wish, hope for a tag call. No, but we do find a Guzmahala. Which will get us there. Uh, what do I get rid of, though? I guess it's gonna have to be Hustle Belt, Mr. Mine. We'll get the Shrine, the Double Dragon. Yeah, I'm actually gonna get a Floatstone, too, so I can move ADP. Here's my game plan. Because instead of going straight for the cart play, you know, we can soften about Magic Card, but I think what I'm gonna do, do this. Uh, I'm gonna wait on the shrine, I think. I just wanna move ADP. Like, we could ultimate Ray, obviously, and my opponent's not threatening me, but. <laughs> we wanna be attacking the Magic Card here, because we're gonna be doing more damage, but. That kinda sucks that I get rid of the Hustle Belt there. I really wish we could run, like, an Executor 2 in this deck, but we don't have Battle Compressor, so. It's not really too effective in here, I don't think. But I would like to make room for an egg in here. I'm not gonna lie, an Execute would be nice. We can hit the Zard for 80, though, for now. Though we do want to be doing 200 damage to it. Ah, we'll see. We'll, we'll probably end up just going back into Jirachi here for a little bit. That's kind of my game plan for now, anyways. Go back into Jirachi and see where we go from there. Uh, my opponent Ultra Balls away, switching to Blacksmith. Now, what are the odds they play Pokemon Ranger? Now, that's one of the problems with playing this deck. Looks like they're playing Embor, too, which is interesting. All right, they might be able to have a big turn here for sure. We might get hit pretty hard. I don't want to play the Shrine down if they do a lot of damage. That's why I was hesitant on even playing that in the first place. Though we do probably want to get rid of this Heat Factory so they don't get an Embor and play as easily. They actually Scramble Switch. Looks like they're going to go into the Volcanion and they're going to Flare Starter. Fair play. Fair enough. Okay, let's see we top deck here. Or the shrine. All right, we're gonna have to play this. We're gonna be moving anyway, so it's all good. I guess we could take him out, take two prizes, but we're just gonna go with Stellar Wish. We'll play it safe. There's a Cynthia, beautiful card to get. 
We don't have any switches right now, so we're just going to pass. Okay, no, we're not. We're going to do this. And we're going to Cynthia. Try to get more carps. There we go. And we'll pass. Maybe could have played the mail, but we're not really looking for anything. Well, I guess maybe we should have tried to find either Hustle Belt or uh, probably uh, Scoop Up Cyclone. But I'm tempted to keep this guy on the board because... Or maybe not, I don't know. Because, like, we could use Ultimate Ray as, like, a backup to knock this out in one hit. And I actually kind of prefer that. But we do have the other Ultimate Crossman, too. Don't forget. So I don't really know. And they're just going to Flare Starter. So if we can hit a uh, Hustle Belt here, we're going to knock them out. And that's pretty good. Uh, but then they might not go to a Blaze. That's fine, though. That's not going to really do much for them. All right, so first things first. We'll Stellar Wish. Uh, what are we taking here? Probably the Nest Ball. We'll, uh, play this. We'll get ourselves another Magikarp. Actually, another Drachi wouldn't have been bad either, but it's fine. And, alright, there's a pretty low chance we do... Okay, there we go. I was gonna say, there's a pretty low chance we find Tag Call. Uh, we'll definitely take the Tag Call. Uh, we'll play it. We'll, uh... I think just get rid of the Shrine and the Energy Lotto. Those can go. Whoops. We'll take the Hustle, the Double Dragon, and the Rainbow. Or the, the, the Hustle and the Double Dragon, sorry. What am I saying? As long as we have the Hustle Belt. And I guess we're looking for something good here. Special Charge, Nest Ball, Rescue Stretcher. We'll take the Stretcher. And uh, what does Rainbow Energy the other cart for now? And yeah, just go for Splashing Dodge. All right, big turn. We are going to take a knockout. We're going to take two prizes, and we're going to try to get heads here. Oh, boy. Are we going to get double tails? We do not. And all right, so the only way they can deal with me is through double blaze with six energy. So let's see if they can get six energy. There's... Oh, it was, Scoop Up was prideful. There it is. We get a Guzma and a Scoop Up. So we can Scoop Up our ADP. But I think I'm going to keep it in play, to be honest with you. I don't know. It's kind of tempting to discard it. They actually bring in the Silvali, which is really weird. I don't know why they did that. I don't know why they wouldn't just go into this, because it looks like they are going to be able to double blaze me here. I don't know why they didn't go in Silvali. That's really weird. It's really, really weird. I think we'll uh, just Guzma the uh, Reshizard, obviously, and just try to get damage on it, because we can always knock this out with Ultimate Ray at some point. That's kind of why I'm keeping the AD. Or uh, the Ultra Crossman 2 can also knock out the Silvali. So I think we're going to target the Reshizard. We could also target the Tepig if we really wanted to, but we definitely want to knock this thing out, so we're definitely going to target that. Actually, I think we're going to have to scoop up this thing before, because we don't want him to just Guzma knock me out. All right, let's see if they get Rare KD Embor here. That could be pretty big. We'll see if they have any weird Tetra cards. Nope, just a Brave Buddies for zero damage because Splashing Dodge is so busted. Um, so yeah, we're going to scoop up our ADP because we don't want that in play right now. We're going to Guzma the Zard. Let's see what Stella Wish gives us. Get Via Seeker and Teammates. Definitely just take the Versus Seeker. Go back in a carp. Uh, and we're just gonna go for a splashing dodge. Why not? And there's heads. So if they have a welder here, they can of course knock me out, and then we just finish them off with the other magic carp and go from there. Actually, we win the game here. We win the game. A magic carp is going to take out a Reshi Ram and Charizard. To oh, he didn't even let me do it. No, this deck is so OP. Okay, that was really lucky though we, that we ran into a fire deck in our first match we tried to find. That's really lucky. I kind of feel bad, but I don't at the same time because uh, when you get bodied by Magikarp, it's pretty lit. So I'll catch you guys in the match. Okay, guys, getting into another game here. It's taking quite a while to load. So, yeah. I don't know. Do you guys find that? Like PC Joe games, are they take quite a while to load sometimes. Or they take a while to find, sorry. Not load. They take quite a while to find. Yeah, that happens a lot when I'm recording nowadays. The games will take like about like two years to load, to like find. We'll see what we're playing against here. I wasn't really paying attention with their deck, but I gotta make an assumption they're playing a Rayquaza deck. Just saying. I gotta, I'm, I'm, I'm guessing this Rayquaza. 
All right, we are going to get with a Jirachi Victini start. Hopefully, uh, this can find us a Magikarp because we have Hustle Bell Rainbow Energy in our hand. We'll see what we're playing against here. Ooh, Pika Rom, it looks like. Pika Rom's fine. No, no, wait. Maybe they are playing Rayquaza. Yes, they are. Nice thing about Rayquaza is, like, we could literally stall them out. Ooh, they didn't hit a single energy off that. And, ooh, they lose a Zerkatry. That's the, actually the only way they could beat me is with that card. That's actually good that they lost that. Hopefully, they don't get that back. All right, Sycamore. Ooh, they play Brock. Of course they do. It's going to make it a little bit harder to deal with that Zerkatry. Because that Zerkatry is technically the only thing that can beat me. We have all special energy in the deck. Okay. They do lose a Via Seeker, which I like. That's less chance of getting that Brock back. What are the odds we get knocked out next turn? Probably very high, right? Probably very, very high. Um, I don't know if... Hmm. It's a pretty good hand. Okay, we got a Shrine. I like that. We'll play the Stellar Wish. Oh, we didn't get any way to find a Carp. That's pretty rough. That is pretty rough. I guess we I guess we could like scoop up retreat. That's pretty stupid though. That's pretty silly. <clears throat> That's just unlucky. That is just very unlucky. Okay, well, we got an escape board, which is good, so we have another chance. I mean we do need to get ADP off. The fact that we're not even alter creation this turn is also pretty bad. Don't think there's any way we can do alter creation now anyways. That's fine, though. Uh, do we even want to play the Rainbow Energy on the Magic Card? Because if I do this now, they might just Guzma me here. This doesn't really seem like a good idea. And then we... Uh, maybe I should have done that. I don't know. Because I guess we can hustle. We can play Lana's Rod if we get knocked out. I don't know. Whatever. We don't really need to play it right now. I am scared of that Zerka Tree, though. I'm not going to lie. Those Zerka Trees terrify me. Okay, another Via Seeker getting burned is really good. Hopefully they just lose all their Via Seekers soon. Ooh, they're actually gonna end me. This is actually perfect. This wasn't that great of a hand. We Basically at this point, we're trying to find any way to get a tag call to guarantee an ADP. We might have to use ADP actually within this matchup to attack. There we go, we got the ADP. But yeah, we, we're probably gonna need to attack with ADP in this matchup just because it's really the only way we can one-shot these things. Um, and uh, we might need a one-shot attacker because if this thing gets into play, we don't really have a way to deal with it. So we'll tag call here. Get these two. We can AZ the Jirachi. Which, uh, I mean, doesn't even sound like a bad idea. Let's put this gives us something good. Stretcher Float Stone. I'll take the float. Probably need to float the ADP. Yeah, we'll AZ the Jirachi. I've done crazier things. Uh, there's no Ranger in the discard pile. So, oh, I could have brought in the other Jirachi. Woohoo, look at that. I made a, I made a misplay. That that was barely a misplay, guys. Let's be honest. At, at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter. We're not really looking for anything anymore anyways. Uh, might as well just get another card from play, I guess. I don't really know what else to get there. And we're just going to alter creation. And yeah, go from there. It's got 140 HP left too, so that's pretty good. We'll see how we do. I don't want to waste too many V Seekers because I do need them for Guzma. Okay, they're going to end me again. Should have maybe benched the other Jirachi. Should have maybe played the Float too. Let's see what we get here. Hustle Belt. Okay. The Hustle Belt's good. We might just have to take a knockout with Ultimate Ray. I mean, ADP is going to be an attacker here. Uh, they are down to the Seekers though. So, as long as they just don't get back that Zerkatry, I'm going to be happy. Because I just don't ever want to see a Zerkatry come to play. Okay, they play three Fighting Fury Belts. They have not been able to get a Zero Aura yet, which I'm assuming is what they're looking for. Because they want to be able to play Zero Aura here. Coco Prism. They do have a Field Blower. It does actually get rid of the Shrine, which kind of sucks. Because the one more Shrine tick would actually put these guys all down to 180 HP, which would cancel the Fighting Fury Belt. And they just pass. All right, can we draw Guzma Hala? We do draw the flow, which is really good. That's going to help us. I think we're just going to field blower these off. That is the last for field blower, though, so. Uh, okay, we'll nest ball here. 
for another Victini because why not? Double down on the Victinis. And we will Juniper here and pray this finds us a Rainbow Energy or the other Double Dragon so we can take a knockout. Okay, we do find a Rainbow. Put that on there. And Splashing Dodge for 100 damage and hopefully this gets heads. No, oh, oh. Uh-oh, Double Tails. Okay, well, the good news is there's actually a good chance they don't even attack me here. Okay, never mind. They just Dang it, dude. We had to get Double Tails. Ugh, Magikarp, why? Nah, we'll just Lana's Rod. It's all Gucci. I don't want to waste another Via Seeker, though, because we need to be ready for that Zerka Tree. We need Guzma Via Seeker. Nope. Okay, they can Zeroar. I mean, we don't really have to worry about Tablet Thunder, obviously. They do have nine cards left here, which means they are going to play that Brock's Grit next turn, most likely. Unless they just Tempest and just decide to lose the game. That's not going to happen, though. I mean, I mean, to be fair, though, because they don't have that many cards in their deck, maybe we could, like, Splashing Dodge win the game that way by just stalling them out. I don't know. They only have one Guzma. They only have one gust effect, so yeah, maybe we could literally win by just spamming Splashing Dodge and just getting super lucky with our heads, and then they just eventually deck out. That could be like one one way to win the game. Ooh, I really want to bring in the Jirachi here. Yeah, I think we will. We're going to try to dig for a Guzmahala. Oh, we drew the rainbow. That's rough. Uh, I guess I should have... should have done Stellar Wish first. It's my bad. It's all good, though. We got where we needed to go. Get another Shrine in play, which is good. Shrine. Oh, we don't have a switching card. Oh, no. Oh, Guzma's prize, too. Oh, wow. That's... That's a big, big yikes. Guzma is prize, too. Oh, I should have just brought in the map. I didn't know I was going to draw that, though. That is really rough. ADP might get knocked out. They might even just Guzma the ADP and knock it out. Oh, that's really rough. We don't have the other escape board. I should have maybe just Lana's Rod the other escape board back in the deck. Yeah, they're going to Guzma. They're going to get three prizes on my ADP here. They do have two Guzmas too, which means they can take the last two prizes with Guzma. I don't like this at all. We have to draw an end here. Oh, we don't have an end. We need to draw an end, like... That's the only way we're going to win as we end them. Alright, let's see here. What do we top deck? On its rod. Don't have the end. What am I doing? I get like we get teammates and then end them next turn. Sure. Teammates under one might be enough to win us the game. Okay. We can attack with Ultimate Necrozma too. Uh, that's just Lysander bait though. I don't really know what else I get here. It looks like Carp's gonna have to do all the dirty work. I guess we just take Via Seeker Special Charge. I don't know. Get those two rainbows back. I don't really know. I think end is the most logical thing we get, though, for sure. This allows us to end them to two, or arguably to one next turn, depending on how this goes. If Shrine can stay in play, though, that could also be how we win the game, is by stalling them out with Magikarp and Shrine. But the Shrine doesn't give us the extra prizes, though, with ADP. Ah, we'll see what happens. We could still win this. We gotta expect either Guzma or Brock's Crit this turn. It's one of the two. They actually Ultra Ball now, which is weird, because they're gonna Brock's Crit. They could have Ultra Ball for the circuitry and retreated into it. They play two Tapu Cocos. They really ain't messing around with their Cocos. If I had another Field Blower, we could have uh, Blower knocked this thing out in a couple turns if my opponent doesn't bump the stadium here. There's a bike, gets rid of Pokey Gear. They have three cards left. Unless those two prizes are via Seeker. I get the counter stadium. That's a rip. 
All right, what's that last card? It's not a Via Seeker. Okay, interesting. Very interesting. So there's no need to end them to two now, obviously. Uh, we could even play this Viridian to thin the deck out. Of stuff we don't need. I think we're just going to Slashing Dodge once again. Just 10 for 10. 10 for 100. Pray we uh, get really lucky here with our heads. Nice. If only the Shrine stuck around a bit longer, we could knock this thing out in one hit with Splashing Dodge. They have two cards left now. Even if they Brock screw... Okay, I, I get... I'm so confused. I am... Wait, what's going on? How have they not played Brock Scrit yet? What is going on, dude? I'm actually so confused. Um... Okay, we just win. Magikarp stall, guys. We just end them to two. We win. We just deck them out. Okay. All right, well, just good for good measure, let's see what we would have gotten here with Magikarp. Hey, we would have gotten heads. Wow, dude. What the heck? That was a weird game. That was a weird game, bro. What the heck? Just so many things were just going so weird that game. Like, how many? Let me see this. They only played two via Seekers. Okay, so clearly they weren't playing the most amazing build of Rayquaza. Okay, they only had two via Seekers. So they had literally no way. So we won either by stalling on Magikarp. If we weren't going to win there with N, we could have just won by two turns of just stalling. What can I say, though? Magikarp is just, it's too good. Okay, guys, here we go. We're going to get into another match with this Magikarp troll deck here. Winning games with the Carp. You'll love to see it. We're up against Basham's here. A lot of types going on in his deck. We actually, I don't think we've taken a knockout with Magikarp yet, to be honest. Maybe we have. I, I don't think we have. Like, we definitely didn't take a knockout with Magikarp in that Rayquaza game. Um, but Carp was able to troll them pretty well with the stall there. But hopefully we get surprised with Magikarp. We haven't taken many knockouts with it. All right. Speaking of the Carp, we are going to get a double Magikarp start here. Not the most amazing start ever, but we'll see. I mean, we can always like smash and dodge by some time until we get an ADP into play or something like that. All right, let's see what they're playing. They got Wondrous Labyrinth in their deck. So we have to be really careful with our uh, Shrine of Punishments. Looks like they're playing a potential Mega Ray deck. This could, this actually, this could be Rainbow Road. What deck would play Wondrous Labyrinth and Skyfield? That's what I'm wondering. This might just be a Rainbow Road deck. We'll see. This could be Rainbow Road. It's the only deck I can think of that would play both Skyfield and Wonders Labyrinth in the same deck. All right, my opponent's taking quite a while here. Okay, there we go. Uh, do we want to draw an extra card? I guess we do, right? Okay, get a great catcher. Drew a Hustle Belt. All right, we're going to have to just belt our boys here. I mean, this is fine. Uh, let's see what this gives us. The Seeker, perfect. Don't want to get rid of anything. We're going to lose a stretcher, which is pretty bad. There's a shrine I was talking about. Okay. We actually got to scoop up Cyclone, which is pretty big, actually. Uh, so we get to scoop up the carp. If they are playing a fairy deck, ADP is weak to fairy. So that's going to be a bit of an issue for us. Uh, we take the Guzma, I think. Take the Guzma. We can Nest Ball here for the ADP, and I think we will just get it into play now. Okay, it's in the deck. Whew. Can you imagine if it wasn't? In the next turn, we'll Guzma, Ultra Creation. Hopefully, they bench something with a big retreat cost, because if not, I'm going to have to go Stellar Wish. I guess we should have maybe grabbed Guzma Hall instead of the Guzma, but whatever. But they get a level ball. Okay, maybe they're not playing Rainbow Road. I got to assume they are. Like, I don't know what else this could be. Okay, they get a Sableye. Isn't this the thing that like looks at the top card of your deck and discards it? Yeah. Okay, it is a Rainbow Road deck. I was right. Unless they're playing Volk. The Volk's actually perfect, though. That means we can Guzma that up at some point and knock it out with Splashing Dodge and take three prizes. That That's actually hilarious. That is actually hilarious. Yeah, this is definitely a Rainbow Road deck. Um, which is kind of scary because, again, ADP can easily get knocked out by Xerneas. Oh, they played that Jirachi. Oh, that is so annoying. Honestly, 
Oh, they get rid of it. Never mind. I was going to say, honestly, I was thinking about just bringing up the Jirachi there with Guzma and just knocking out Splashing Dodge because that thing is very annoying. Of course they play Enhanced Hammer in their deck. Of course they do. Of course they do. So hopefully they don't get energy on their Xerneas this turn. And they don't. Nice. Alright, we'll see what we can get here off of Stellar Wish. I wouldn't mind actually just getting... Well, we're probably going to bring in the Volk, right? With Guzma. They're definitely going to get a Float Stone here. So I guess we wouldn't mind getting N, and then ideally off the N, that finds us the rest of the cards we need. I don't know if they play Max Elixir or not, though. I mean, they play Mina, so I gotta assume they don't. They're probably gonna go Max Elixir DC and maybe a Float Stone here, because they know we have the Guzma in our hand, unless they forgot that we have it in our hand. It's possible. Okay, we do find the Escape Board, which is good. So we can actually save Ultimate Ray here. Or we can save the Guzma on the Volcanian. We can take four prizes next turn. Well, they might Ranger me too, obviously. That is something to consider. We haven't been Rangered yet in this video, which is pretty lucky. But we can Splashing Dodge, knock out the Volcanian next turn. Um, if we save the Guzma. We also, this way we can move the ADP for free. Yeah, we'll save the hand and just go, just go for it. We'll just save the hand. And we'll, next turn, we'll Guzma, Splashing Dodge, knock out Volcanion, take three prizes. I would have played the Shrine because Dedenne can also be how we win the game. We can also knock out Dedenne with only Ray, but it's pretty likely we actually just get knocked out here. And then we, I don't know, we'll see. Oh, Via Seeker for Mina. Yeah, maybe we should have Via Seeker that, but I gotta assume they prepared for that Guzma play. Either way, we can take three prizes here. They're gonna get three prizes themselves, which is not helping. Yeah, see, they would have had the float no matter what, so it, we would have been knocked out this turn. I wanted to play that Wonders Labyrinth down so I could just burn the shrine now. Ooh, they mentioned Shaman. That's actually perfect, because I can get knocked out. We can literally win the game by killing this and killing this. Because Shrine of Punishment can put that Shaman down to 100 HP. We just pray they don't play Pokemon Ranger. What are they getting rid of here? They are playing a very weird Xerneas list. That Jirachi is kind of annoying. Uh, not gonna lie, that Jirachi is kind of scary because it can bypass. Yes, they did play the water. Yes, this guy's, a, this guy's a genius. This guy's a genius. All right, this is perfect. This is perfect. Alright, this is really good. They are going to get three prizes, which is terrible. We are going to get a knockout on this. And we also get to take that thing. So all we got to do is get it. Oh, we still need to find Victini. So let's see if Stellar Wish can get us anything good. So we want to get Victini, we want to get Heads, and we want to find another Guzman for next turn. That's our goal here. No. Take the Via Seeker. Which guarantees us the win next turn unless we get End. Should we play the Hustle Belt? Ah, they haven't played a Field Blur yet, so it's really risky. We have 10 HP left. They take that in. It's really risky to play this Hustle Belt. Alright, we just gotta hope to get heads here. Rip. Okay, so... We just need to get... Rainbow Energy, and we win next turn, which we didn't get there. Yeah, not getting ahead is actually pretty bad. I guess they would have Guzman me anyways. Well, they have three prizes. Actually, you know what? We can just bench this. We still need to get the double Dragon Energy, though. Hmm. I guess we can win with Alternate Cosmo though. That is an option. Oh, they're going to end me. Oh, they haven't played an end yet. Ooh, never mind. I mean, best case scenario here, they Guzma knock out Jirachi. <laughs> That's like our best case scenario. Because then we just literally win with the Guzma. Because we keep the Rainbow Energy on. We could just draw a Rainbow Energy here, and that is game. We could also draw Energy Lotto off Stellar Wish. They played one via Seeker too, which is pretty scary. Ooh, they got a Shockle. That's fine, because we can knock out that Shaman. 
Let's see. Ooh, another DC gets discarded. Okay, well, let's see here what we can do. Um, we just need to get an energy to win the game. Just need an energy to win. That is not an energy. Okay. Uh, let's just get Victini. I guess we could get another Jirachi because we are going to play on Guzmane. That's if we... Oh, we are... Ooh, the energy law has been used. Rip. Hmm. Maybe we can... We can try to take a knockout with this thing. I mean, I guess we just take the knockout with the alternate Krosma. And then he wraps me. And then we... No, we really need that last Via Seeker. Okay, let's do this. Oh, we need that last Rainbow Energy really badly. Oh, I wish we didn't have that great... We uh, wish we still had that Great Catcher too. Get a Shrine. It's not going to do anything for us. Let's we'll take the Rod, I guess. We could take in the shrine just to burn it, I guess. It wouldn't have been too terrible. But we can use the rod as discard bait. We can also just get rid of Cynthia here. Uh, I wish I could just get the... Uh, I wish I could just get that rainbow and just wait a turn. I mean, we could wait a turn if we really wanted to. Um, they only have three cards in their hand, two... But they've only played one via Seeker, and they have a Sableye at their disposal. Oh no, they played two via Seekers. Okay. But they've only played one Trainer's Mail. Maybe waiting a turn isn't such a bad idea. But we take a knockout here. They don't have another Xerneas to retaliate with. I think this is still the better play. No, this is still fine. We're getting two prizes here, too. They can go into Soto Widow. They can also bring this in. They can wrap me, but again, we have a secret for Guzma. Tag call. Float. I would have liked to have knocked him out with Splashing Dodge to, like, stall a game, stall a turn. I could have waited, and maybe the waiting play was the better idea. But what are the odds one of those cards in their hand gets him a Guzma? I don't really, I don't know. Maybe it was worth it to risk it and just pray they didn't have that last Via Seeker in their hand. Instead, just kind of going all in. But we're Gucci. We can also just win here if they rat. If they don't rat, well, actually, no. Yeah, we can win with this alternate cross. Maybe they get knocked out. It's pretty much what we're going getting at here. We can also uh, draw Rainbow Energy to win with Magic Card, which would be even more epic. Okay, Guzma Hollow. That tells me they actually don't have what they are looking for. They get rid of a Fion too. They have a really crazy list. There's a lot going on in here. Oh, a funny fury belt. They could just play that on the Shaman or the Shuckle. Okay, they played on the Shuckle, which actually doesn't really help them because we're still doing 200. Oh, no, I guess it does help them by like 10 HP. And they actually don't. Okay, they don't do rap. Interesting. Uh, we still have a blower, right? Okay, can we draw a rainbow to win the game? No. Okay, well, I wanted to draw the rainbow energy there to win the game on the Shaman. With the Magikarp knockout, which would have been absolutely hilarious, but we'll take what we can get. We'll take a knockout here with Alternate Krosma, winning the game against my opponent's Rainbow Road deck. We were able to actually use that Magikarp there pretty effectively, and we were able to take out a Volcanian EX, which is kind of funny. By the way, we're out of the day's Peace video here, guys, with the Magikarp deck. This is a really hilarious deck um, to play. It's just funny to play it because it's such a funny troll deck. Uh, if I want to make any changes, I actually really want to just play more energy lottos now, just because in that situation we were just in, we really wanted to get an energy to win with Carp. But we still won the Necrozma. I don't know, I do like this deck though, it's pretty hilarious. It's a funny troll, and again, you do take some pretty heavy L's to Faba decks. Haunchcrow obviously is not very good, but there's a lot of decks where this deck is just hilarious and trolls. And hey, if you run to someone playing a Welder Fire deck, you have the advantage of playing this meme. So yeah, that'll wrap the day's piece for you guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like on the video. 
And uh, if you enjoyed the Magikarp trolling, drop a like on the video, subscribe down below, help me on the road to reaching 7,000 subscribers. And as always, make sure to check out the sponsor, Karkevin TCG. If you're going to pre-order any Sword and Shield codes, pre-order them over at Karkevin TCG and use code LDF. I'll see you guys in a peaceful video. Bye-bye.